Do you ever get frustrated when you're burning your candles and you get to the end and there's all this wax in there left, but you can't burn it? Hi, I'm Savannah and welcome back to my channel with Love Savannah. Today I'm going to show you how to take your candles that you would typically throw away from this to this. So not only am I gonna show you how to take all of that extra wax out so that you can use it to burn in your home, but also I'm gonna show you how to create these beautiful containers so you can display in your home. And some of the favorite ways that I like to do it are using Q-tips and also using flossers. If you're following along with me, before we get started, I'm gonna show you everything that I recommend that you grab together that will make this process a whole lot easier. To start, grab all of your empty candles. I'm using Bath & Body Works ones today exclusively. However, this can work for a lot of different kinds. Second, I recommend you grab some rubber gloves or any other kind of gloves that you have that will protect your hands because we'll be playing in wax today and a couple other things that are just like, that could really like ruin your nails or your hands. So I just recommend protecting those. Next, I recommend grabbing a little butter knife. I always use a little plastic one just because that way like it's not getting on your food or anything. You make sure you get it off. You just throw it right away at the end. Next, you need something to put the wax into for you to use later. I'm gonna use these little containers I have that have these little snap-on lids. These are really nice too because then you can write the scent on top of it. However, if you don't have something like this or you don't want to use something that's more like reusable, I recommend just using some sandwich baggies. The last thing that I recommend is these wool light pads. So I'm using the SOS ones. This is one of the main reasons why you need those rubber gloves, but this will really, really help to get that wax out of the candle. First things first, we're going to glove up. At this point, you really only need your rubber gloves, your candle, and then your knife. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our knife and take our candle and you're just going to take the knife into little sections and you're gonna kind of make little cuts in it so that you can scoop out the wax. So for this, I recommend cutting the wicks down. You see that they're pretty low. Otherwise they just kind of get in the way and then it'll be in your wax. So first I just kind of press down and make a little incision in the wax and then I'll kind of draw it across. This part's a little messy and you can kind of do it any way. But basically the idea is to break up the wax, dig down and go like this. So here's what it looks like now. You can see that a piece already popped itself out and I didn't even do that, it just did it itself. So what I do is I take the knife, I go around the whole entire circumference of the candle and then I draw some cracks in between. Then they'll start to pop up like this. If the pieces aren't already popping up, you can just kind of use your knife and kind of give it a little push. You can also use your hand since you have gloves on and you can also use a spoon if that helps. But then you just take your pieces and I'm gonna put them into this container. At this point, you just wanna scrape out any little crumblies that are left. And then you see that at the end, you'll be left with the wicks and they're kind of held on by these little silver things here. At this point, you can see all of this extra wax that would have gone to waste normally had we not done this like this. So at this point, I'm gonna put the lid on and because I'm using this reusable container, I put on some masking tape to write the name of the scent. If you're just using a sandwich bag, you can obviously skip this step. So this one is Marshmallow Fireside. And this makes a big difference when you have multiple of these at once, that way you know what you're burning. So the way that we did this is the way that you store them, but you may be wondering, what do we do with this wax since we got rid of the wicks? If you've never seen one of these before, this is a tart warmer. These are very cheap if you wanna just get them at Walmart, there's a lot of different ones. So you take the wax and you stick it in here, you stick a couple pieces in, and as you see, there's still a lot left after this is already full. And then you hit the button, and it's as simple as that. It warms the tart and it makes your house smell good. So we're gonna leave this on while we continue to the next step. This is the hardest part, I'm not gonna lie. So for this, it is gonna get a little messy, so I do wanna roll up my sleeves a little bit. So what I sometimes do is I will put some warm soapy water in here and just let it sit as I go about and do other things throughout my day. Today, I'm just gonna show you what it's like straight away. So we all know wax is messy, plus there's all of this extra residue in here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to first try to get as much of this out as possible. So I got a little bit of that out of here. What I actually should have done before that is take off this sticker on the bottom. Now this is one of those stickers that comes off really, really messy and is going to leave a lot of residue. That's fine, you just wanna get off as much as you can. 
So if you can't get a lot of the sticker off, I didn't try very hard, it will come off later with the SOS pad. So you just put some soap in here. I have Dawn, whoo, we got some bubbles. I have Dawn dish soap. And then you're gonna put some hot water in here. So now that you have this all warm and soapy, I just take my glove in and you'll be able to feel in here where the wicks are. So I just take them and I kind of put pressure against them. They're really just on in like a sticky fashion so you can just pull them off. It may feel hard, but I just got one. So they will all come out like this. This is what it looks like after you get all of those out. As you see, it's actually pretty clean. I just rinsed out the soap and threw away the wicks. And then at this point, what we're gonna do is we're going to take this part off. Again, doing this before the water really isn't a bad idea. If you have a candle like this, this kind of is just a little like film. So all you have to do is lift it up like I just did. And then you need to just like kind of snip it a little bit. This is hard to do on camera like this. Then once you cut a little snip in the bottom, it's just like this, and then you can just peel it off like so. There are ones like this, that's just a little sticker, so you just have to peel that off. And then ones like this, again, just another little sticker. Now ones like this, I just wanna let it be known that this will remain yellow. Now that your candle's all naked, you're gonna take the SOS pad, you're going to get it a little bit wet. Again, I really do not recommend doing this without gloves on. So this already has soap in it and I just take this and I scrape around and this is really, really good for not only getting the wax out, but also getting any of the blackness out from the wick and the smoke and then especially getting the stickers off. So those other kind that I showed you that have the outer covers or stickers, it gets off any sticky residue. And then where I'll really show you the difference is back here. Turns out this SOS pad is doing a whole lot for this sticker that's on. So if you are comfortable using a razor blade, that would work really well. My other recommendation is to just do this from the start. If you just peel the sticker off, it probably will be sticky and gross. That part, it will take off really well with the SOS pad, but this full on sticker like this, it's just doesn't do great with it. And it's really difficult to do with gloves on and when it's already wet. Although I will say with it being wet, it really isn't sticky. It's coming off really nice. I scraped it off, so here it is. So I'm just gonna again, take this, scrub around. And you wanna do a pretty decent and thorough job, even if it doesn't seem like there's much on it, because you are going to be putting things in here. So you wanna get out as much of the scent and just any extra anything that could be in here. When you're done, you wanna set this aside. I wouldn't set this directly on your countertop. And then turn on the sink, rinse it out. As you see, this is crystal clear now. It looks awesome. I was really excited the first time that I did this and I saw how well it came out. So I'm just drying it off just so I can show you. I'm just drying it a little bit. And then the coolest part is if you do have multiples, you can switch out the lid. So let me show you what I mean. Here's your jar. It's fall time. Use a pumpkin top. It's Christmas or winter. Use a little snowflake like so. Or if it's just any other time, you can use the normal white barn one. Thank you all so much for tuning into my video where I show you how to take this and turn it into this. If you try this out, let me know how it goes. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment box below and I'll be happy to answer them. If you have any tips or you found anything that makes this process go a little bit easier or smoother, feel free to share this as well as I would be happy to learn them myself and then we can share them with my audience. So thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Subscribing to my channel really helps support my channel and then you can see other videos I post as well. So I really appreciate it. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next one. one of us gotta say